The United Kingdom is planning to deport around 6,000 migrants back to Rwanda this year. The figures come a day after the plan to stop migrants arriving on small boats from Northern Europe became law after months of parliamentary battles. On Monday, London deported the first asylum seeker to Rwanda, British media reported on Tuesday, April 30. The announcement of this first deportation to Rwanda also comes a week after the adoption of a highly controversial law allowing migrants who have entered the United Kingdom illegally to be deported to Rwanda. Rwanda, for its part, has agreed in principle to take by 5,700 migrants already in the United Kingdom. Rwanda says it is ready to receive the deported migrants in special centers. The Rwandan government assures that these centers will provide adequate living conditions and support for their integration. According to official statistics, more than 57,000 people have arrived in small boats after attempting to cross the channel in the last 18 months. This figure underlines the scale of the challenge of tackling irregular arrivals and the limits of the government's controversial plan to send some of them to Rwanda. The plan to deport migrants to Rwanda was announced two years ago by the then Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who was blocked by the European Court of Human Rights, followed by legal challenges and a months-long battle in Parliament. After the bill was passed last week, the United Nations called on London to reconsider its plan. But the British government said on Tuesday it hoped to deport an already identified group of 5,700 asylum seekers to Rwanda by the end of the year. Under the plan, which is expected to cost British taxpayers hundreds of millions of pounds, the asylum claims will be assessed by Kigali. And if approved, they will be allowed to stay in Rwanda and not return to the United Kingdom.